our big focus this morning prime minister modi arrived in brisbane this morning for the g20 summit dressed in a crisp white kurta pajama and his trademark nehru jacket modi seemed upbeat uh, on his arrival from myanmar the prime minister has a packed schedule waiting for him which includes a meeting with the the british prime minister and a dinner with the japanese pm ahead of the two day summit Prime Minister will also begin his uh, India-Australia bilateral with a visit to the Queensland University of Technology in the afternoon. Prime Minister's visit to Australia has a strong business and commerce agenda. Modi is expected to also seek international support on the black money issue. He is also likely to voice his concerns over economic growth that uh, doesn't generate employment. After the summit, Modi will proceed to Sydney, Canberra, and then Melbourne. In Sydney, a mega event has been planned by the Indian community. Prime Minister Modi will attend a Madison Square Garden-like event at the Sydney Olympic Park. Close to 28,000 people are expected to attend the mega cultural extravaganza. A special train uh, will run from Melbourne to Sydney, carrying over 200 passengers who will attend the public address. In the first trip to Australia by an Indian Prime Minister in 28 years, Modi will engage with his counterpart Tony Abbott to. boost trade investment and energy and security partnership prime minister narendra modi arrived uh, in brisbane this morning he has a packed schedule waiting for him is expected uh, to begin his uh, india sri lanka bilateral with a visit to the queensland uh, university of technology following which he will be meeting the british prime minister david cameron prime minister modi will be ending his day with the uh, a dinner with japanese prime minister shinzo abe in fact uh, our uh, managing editor tv today's managing editor rahul kawal has been reporting that uh, prime minister narendra modi has received several requests for bilateral meetings he is expected to meet uh, heads of states of uh, various countries he's got a packed schedule to today of course uh, is a holiday in brisbane in view of the arrival of uh, dignitaries from around uh, the world The G20 summit starts tomorrow. Let's get an award from Rahul Kamal, who's uh, with us live from Brisbane this morning. Rahul, a packed schedule waits for the Prime Minister. Absolutely, uh, Simi. The Prime Minister has landed in a short while from now. He'll be going to the uh, QET, where at the Queensland uh, Technology, there's a robotics farming robotics exhibition. Uh, that is on and several uh, australian scientists students will be making four separate presentations to him where they'll talk him through various ways in which robotics can potentially redefine uh, indian farming and in the midst of this crazy schedule uh, that the prime minister has he's found time uh, to go to the queensland technology institute to try and understand from these uh, farmers from these scientists how robotics can impact farming in india that's one of the big areas because in australia given their farm sizes the scale of technology being used the machinery being used uh, leads to a far higher output than in the manual and the very intensive uh, labor intensive uh, farming that's practiced in india that's something the prime minister will be focusing on to start with when he comes back to his hotel uh, he'll be having a meeting with prime minister david cameron uh, from the united kingdom and after that there's a dinner with shinzo abe the huge protest brisbane is a city semi under a lockdown the huge protest taking place all over the place access is highly restricted uh, the entire place is locked down the the, world, the the top leaders of the world are here so it's quite easy to understand why that would be the case and as a consequence um, it's people in brisbane have a holiday today uh, the the people who are working very unhappy about the fact that they have to work but the others uh, have a holiday and people have just been asked to stay away from central brisbane the focus is entirely on the g20 summit and an attempt is being made to see if all these leaders of the world the the developed economies the emerging economies and the european union can come together to find a concrete action plan which can add 2 trillion dollars to the global economy speed up uh, the global gross domestic product by about 2% that is on the brisbane dialogue agenda now over the next 48 hours we will know whether or not they're able to find the will to be able to do what it takes uh, to generate uh, that extra 2% which could lift potentially millions out of poverty sir right uh, and rahul lots of bilaterals planned for prime minister narendra modi what are the big takeaways that narendra modi is eyeing from the g20 summit well the g20 is a very structured dialogue 
and over there the prime minister cannot do very much over and beyond what is already on the agenda the g20 this year is being led by the australians they are the presidents um, of uh, this year's g20 and over there the dialogue process is very fixed the prime minister is using this opportunity simi to try and get to meet those world leaders he hasn't yet had an opportunity to meet leaders from mexico leaders from france from uh, germany leaders also from canada the focus has been to try and spend quality time with those he hasn't had an opportunity to meet because to go to each of those countries would have taken that much time and therefore this opportunity is being used to try and get the prime minister to meet these people from what we are told uh, is that the prime minister actually received more requests for meetings than even uh, the heads of state of china and the united states both of whom are here in brisbane for the g20 but that's the kind of focus there is on the prime minister uh, because he's new in office because he carries a huge mandate with him into office uh, because he's seen as a man of action a lot of world leaders very curious to know uh, the new in, the new indian prime minister sin absolutely and after the g20 summit a grand reception waits uh, modi in uh, sydney thanks so much rahul for taking us uh, through everything that's making news uh, on the prime minister's uh, visit to australia this is the first visit by an indian prime minister to the country in 28 years